Sibling team up, sibling team up. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me, it's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm Tim Kula, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. Succession Season 3, Episode 2. First episode was phenomenal. Thanks for the love for the first episode. A lot of people came through. A lot didn't subscribe, but it's cool. <laughs> like and subscribe if you like my reaction. And expect more. I don't know if I should react to Insecure or not, but probably not. You know what I'm saying? I'll enjoy that on my own leisure. Um. Anyway, Kendall, Logan going at it. Kendall, overconfident. Logan, panicky actually. But people that are on Logan's side is not the people I thought would be on Logan's side. People on Kendall's side is not the people I thought would be on Kendall's side. I think the sides are going to shift, shift, win somewhere. At the end of the episode, they didn't tell us. I'm, I'm, they have to show us this episode. Um, Roman is out here being petty as hell. <laughs> uh, Jerry's the new CEO, a temporary CEO. I don't know if she's going to make her own power moves because everybody seems to be making their own power moves behind the scene. It's like, how can you trust people who you know you can't trust? That's the biggest like subject of this season. Um, anyway, everybody's out for their self-interest. But he trained them to be like this. So he shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, like I said, like, subscribe if you already subscribed, if you already liked. Thank you so much. Let's dive right into Succession Episode 2. It started with her. I wanted to know where she's headed. She on Tim Kendall now? She's not even answering his calls. What if all the kids team up? Damn, he's in trouble. I need you. He's still trying to manipulate Ronan. Roman. Why do I keep on saying Ronan like he's a fucking samurai? <laughs> dum dum. The guy who created a team. Oh, big ups to you, man. A woman. What? <laughs> Succession! What's Greg's job now? You were like, He's scared? You know, you know? <laughs> oh, it's Tom. That's freaking him out. Makes sense. When he starts speaking hip hop slang, it kills me so much. Are they, are they bringing in this shit from Troy? How they invaded Troy? Is that their strategy? Oh shit, she did go to Kendall. Oh, Tom. Tom? <laughs> These two. They're trying to recruit Greg. Shiv is over there. God damn, snitch. Tom's protecting his wife. Big ups. Damn, so she came in undercover. Sensitive areas. What happened with them? Weren't they flirting? At some part of the season, the conversations are so like political, so vague enough that they don't say something they can't take back. Also, so specific enough that you understand what they say. Their team, I guess. Chevy, how you doing? Just get to the point. Stop thinking so vaguely. Are you a team or not? Who's the cinematographer for this show? <laughs> what? Damn, they calling each other out on they bullshit right now. Right now, he can't even eat. Oh, he's panicking about Shiv. I'm Basically, gonna... nobody can go back to their family <laughs> until <laughs> until <laughs> something is resolved. The theme is building up in the background. You hear that? Connor, be more proactive, Connor. Those were. A lot of Connor's going to Kendall as well. Hey, now we're talking. <laughs> You're the one I want. Damn, if it's the siblings versus the dad, it'll be amazing, man. Who is she? Oh, she a lawyer? I haven't even. Who's that? Oh God. Is that Connor? Okay. Oh, it's not Connor. Uh. Okay. Damn, so much legal guard. I'm your lawyer. I don't know. He could <laughs> Greg is so outmatched right now. That jump. 
<laughs> Just a couple of quick. Okay. All right. I'll call Jerry. I'll call Jerry. Very soon. Eight to ten hours. God damn. Okay. That is already calling presidents and shit. Amazing. I mean, who's calling shit? Is she gonna lie to him? <laughs> the whole love you, thank you, Han Solo thing is weird. Why? <laughs> Siblings. <laughs> God damn them. Oh my god, it's starting to rain. Hope it doesn't affect the recording. <laughs> They're entertaining siblings, that's for sure. Whatever. Uh, How big is this penthouse, whatever it's called? Where's Greg going? Oh yeah. Big gramps and the Make the company guess, nice and so that's on. Thing, right? that's actually His grandfather's right? morals though. That was a great analogy, Greg. Your grandpa got you. Thank you. <laughs> you immediately touched all that shit. Oh my god, that was amazing. Come on, sibling team up. Oh, Carter! Damn, that would be such a power move. Kendall had all the siblings. If the siblings are together, it's better for me because I have a side to root on. <laughs> but if they separated, I'll be conflicted. God damn. Kendall's convincing me. <laughs> Bad fingers fucking, we can only live on Cree. Okay, now he's saying jargon that I don't understand. <laughs> he's trying to make a woke company? Rotten Cabal. Roman doesn't seem interested at that. There goes Roman. There goes Carter. <laughs> oh, his wife. Are we getting like a violin theme? Oh! Couple goals. So I like Logan's medical issues gone. <laughs> they came back. <laughs> They're my favorite sibling duo, Shiv and Roman. The insults are so kid-like in adult bodies. <laughs> but they knew. So these motherfuckers did this shit and choked about it in front of their kids. Is he actually going to hug his kids? Oh, he's talking to this guy. He's the Troy metaphor. Rich people got a guy to build a, a Troy horse. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's dope. <laughs> Business fundamentals. Are they PR training her? She has a request? <laughs> Because we would say that nothing the message. So Are she mad mad? For my return to be public. Damn. Celeste she came with a list list. Then no negotiation. Now, Roy, to have Very a large a numbers. Announced ahead of a I was so it's still a divorce. Yours is the best facility for the still twenty minutes left? Wow, they give us a treat. Yeah. Fucky yeah. eyes. Like, <laughs> Dude thinks his dad is a superhero. Now dad. Sibling team up. Sibling team up. Like Kendall's confidence is something else. Is Roman gonna tell the information to his pops? He's right though. <laughs> now they're fighting about who takes over. <laughs> oh, she's leaving. As soon as she's not in charge, she dips. She's actually calling Tom? Everybody's playing their own game in this. King Potato. Everybody's on the phone right now. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> she's scared, scared now. They're all gonna get burnt if they team up. What are they gonna do? I'm on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I mean, think he would say Oh my god, the rain. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. 
And it's feeling it. Stop looking at the fucking donuts. Corners out? Pass. Damn, Roman 2? Like what? Damn, Shift 2? Why? Damn. It's high tide. He's alone? It's high tide. God damn. 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 He's falling the park. Damn. Now Kendall's the underdog. I have to root for him. <laughs> you know he said some very fucked up shit to Shiv right now. Roman and Shiv now? Okay. This is all because they couldn't decide who was who should be on top. That's the lawyer. Dab this rain. <laughs> so many moving pieces. 3D chess. Sheldon Cooper would be so proud. Could Greg be on top at the end of this? That'll be a mind fuck. This is the power team right now. Is the FBI gonna send on all of them now? It's pictures of the United Front that does the company is now against Kendall. Damn, he went into Shiv's car. She's president. All of them look like they haven't slept in days. Oh, it's that eight to ten hour meeting. Shiv seems happy with that decision. Everybody seems happy. Except Roman. Roman looked like he probably has this idea with Jerry and he's gonna pursue that more than caring about taking down his dad in situations. Um God damn, everybody's making power moves in this. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the hero's journey in me wants to root for Kendall. Even though he said all those fucked up things to his family just because they didn't want to support him. But it makes sense. He feels alone. After being confident for a majority of these two episodes. To now essentially be alone. Especially blood-wise. Damn, the whole family against you, fam. You see, that's what makes me want to root for him. But goddamn... I like the other siblings too, man. I like Logan too, even though he's fucked up. <laughs> this is what great character development does to a psyche of a, a viewer, man. This was a great episode. They know it was a great episode. Anyway, deuces. Gotta edit this and get it up as quick as possible. What a long ass episode. But I'm saying that. As a good thing. Like it, subscribe if you're not liked, then subscribe already. If you are, thank you again. Deuces.